Right now, I am at Waldo Stadium, and I'm gonna be going over the pros and cons of living in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and it's coming up right now. For things to do in sights to see, you are now watching Live Great TV, and I am your official host to Living Great in Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. My name is Vaughn Greathouse. Hey, if you want to know more about the West Michigan area and what it's like to live, work, and have fun in West Michigan, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I really appreciate all the subscribers that are subscribing right now. I really appreciate you guys. That means you really want to know more about the area. Tap that notification bell and that like button if you want to know more about the Grand Rapids area because I love making these videos for you guys but even more than that as a licensed real estate agent in the state of Michigan I love helping you all make that transition over to the Grand Rapids area so that name and that email coming across your screen right now is my direct contact info and yes I'm the one who answers those calls and emails and texts so if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to reach out anytime and with that being said let's get into the video Hey, so right now I am at Waldo Stadium, home of the West Michigan Broncos. This is an awesome area. There's a lot of history here out at Western Michigan. I'm in Kalamazoo. There's so much to know about the Kalamazoo area. I just want to go over some of the highlights for you. So if you're thinking of moving out to the Kalamazoo area, you have full insight on someone who's been here, knows the area, it can give you a heads up on what to look out for. This place is a 25,000 square mile area and the population in Kalamazoo is somewhere around 75,000 people. There is a lot to know about Kalamazoo and some things that you should look out for when you're coming out to Kalamazoo are such things as the low cost of living. Now, compared to the national average, the median home price in Kalamazoo is one of the main things I get calls and messages about all the time, and that is 189,000 median home price in Kalamazoo, Michigan. The national average is somewhere around 300,000, 350, 15,000 on a national scale. So knowing that you can come out here and there's affordable homes, this is one of the top places in America to actually own and purchase a house entry level. One of the only places that you can really move in and move in comfortably as far as the affordability, because it seems a lot of areas in Michigan, in West Michigan are just shooting up just like every other part of the country for that matter. So coming out here is really going to give you an idea of home ownership. There's a lot of things that are on a national scale a lot lower here as far as the low cost of living. Now, on an average, you're going to actually be living a little bit lower than the other areas. Now, some of the areas are more densely populated. There's a lot more people in the area, so knowing that ahead of time is really something you want to look out for. There are some other nicer areas around the downtown area, mainly by the Western Michigan area. There's some really great neighborhoods that you can move into, such as the southwest side near the Kalamazoo Club now areas such as the Southwest side are some of the better places as far as some of the neighborhoods and highlights, as far as where people are moving, where the people really enjoy living at. Areas such as Oakland, Winchell, Hillenbrook, West Niche Hill, these areas are some of the top areas that you wanna move to when you're in the Kalamazoo area. This, this is a real good highlight as far as people who are thinking of moving out to Kalamazoo. They want a nice area, they wanna move and transition smoothly and get into an area that's just awesome. I mean, these are one of the top tier neighborhoods in the state of Michigan. Another thing in regards to the low cost of living, if you want to take advantage of it, make sure that you secure the job prior to coming out here so you can know that you have income and you have a great position as far as when you're moving out here. The people who really are out here are enjoying it. There's a ton to do in Kalamazoo. Another thing that I really want to get into is definitely going to be their downtown life. There's a lot of college town. There's a lot of fun in this city. So if you really are thinking of moving to an area that has a lot of activity, a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of events and festivals that are out here, such as the Maple and Sugar Festival, the Rib Fest. They have things like 
the Taste of Kalamazoo. There's a bunch of Bronco games, especially during the fall season. There's a lot to enjoy about Kalamazoo. Now, there's some different patchy areas where things are just, they look a little bit different. There's a very nice heritage district in the area as far as some of the homes. The older historical type of homes that are in the area are very beautiful. I was just driving by and saw a lot of the architecture resembles a lot of that postmodern people that are keeping up those properties. They look fantastic. A lot of quirky, you know, unique type of homes that are affordable as well. So if you want to be near the downtown area, that's definitely going to be a great highlight. Not to forget to mention they have this place called the Brewery or the Beer Exchange. It is a bar that literally resembles the stock market and the stock exchange. So every so often they'll have new stocks that come out, which are beers and the prices on those beers change all the time. It is a great environment. They have great food. It's not a huge, huge place, but it's awesome experience. It's definitely a place to check out. Another great highlight is going to be the surrounding areas of Kalamazoo. Now there's places like Wayland, Plainwell, Otsego. These are areas where the cost of living is not too high. You can have plenty of land, plenty of places to live. There are a ton of farms and things like that. Even uh, not to forget to mention the Gun Lake Casino, which is not too, too far away where people go, you know, try to get lucky, hit the jackpot and whatnot. It is an area that is a lot of land. Like you get that bang for your buck, unlike any other areas, even in Grand Rapids, comparing those two, as far as it goes, there's just not a comparison because it's just not as expensive. So knowing that ahead of time, moving out to Kalamazoo is definitely something you want to look out for as you're making your pricing, as you're looking at some of the homes, checking into it is definitely going to help you a lot. Kalamazoo has a lot of arts. There's a lot of design people, a lot of art people, a lot of people going straight from college and getting jobs in the area. The Kalamazoo Institute of Arts is an awesome area where you can see a lot of exhibits. They have certain authors that come, they have certain workshops and you can really get hands on in the area. So knowing that you have places in the area that you can actually enjoy the art, enjoy the culture of Kalamazoo is a great thing. Now, a great part about living in the area of Kalamazoo is everything's not too far away. It seems like you can go from one side of town to the other in literally 15 minutes. It doesn't take you very long to get anywhere, so the commute is very short. You're gonna save on gas, <laughs> knowing that you can get from one side of town to the next. In the areas such as Michigan Street, Burdock Street, there's a lot of different places that you can enjoy as far as your day-to-day -day living, going out. I know people like to go out to eat and enjoy themselves, so you have a lot of that as well. All right, another great thing about Kalamazoo, which may be a plus or a minus, you're a little bit further away from Lake Michigan. We're about an hour away from Lake Michigan. And it's also one of those things that there are a lot of inland lakes. So if you have a boat or if you have a yacht, I mean, if, I mean, not a yacht, if you have a boat or if you have a kayak or something like that, canoe, you want to get out and about, there's a lot of inland lakes that you can get access to as far as just getting out, enjoying streams and doing things such as nature and enjoying yourself on walks. A lot of Michigan is green. A lot of that is really oriented towards those naturistic people. I just made that word up. Um, naturistic people as far as the things they like to do. So when you're out in the Kalamazoo area, just know you're going to get a good dose of nature and you're going to enjoy yourself that way. So if you're looking for the city hustle and bustle, you may not find it here. But at the same time, if you want to have that good contrast of being able to have city and also to have that country type of feel, Kalamazoo is definitely going to be a place for you. What is happening, you guys? Right now, I am on the intersection of Kalamazoo Avenue and Water Street, right in downtown Kalamazoo. Hopcat is over here to my left, and it is one of the most awesome places. It's almost like a local chain where you can just go get some good food. Great burgers, they got the chronic fries out there. There's one in Holland, there's a one in Grand Rapids, there's one in Lansing, so they're kind of all over Michigan a little bit. Right here, right behind me is Bell's Brewing Company. They have some of the best amber ale in the state of Michigan. So this is something that's awesome. A great opportunity for you to come and check Water Street out. The beer exchange is not too far down the road, but I wanted to come on and show you exactly what Kalamazoo is like. It's kind of busy right now outside, as you can see. Just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like and actually get out and about in the area now. Bell's Brewing is a great brewery out here that has won all sorts of awards. 
Place. And further downtown is more of where they have a lot of the businesses, a lot of different factories in the area. I'm right by the railroad tracks. Back in the day, they had a big railroad industry out here. Just wanna show you what it's like to be in the area. Kind of walk through, get to know Kalamazoo as some of what you're looking for in the areas here. The Water Street Coffee Shop is right in the middle of the intersection between Kalamazoo Ave and Water Street, which is great because if you're on the road, you're on the way, you want to get some coffee in the morning, just stop right over here. Looks like a little mini shack. I don't know if you can see it back there, but it's a great place to grab some coffee. A lot of history here in the area. So I just want to come out and show you guys about the area so you can see what it's like downtown Kalamazoo. All right, a couple of the negative things that I want to point out about living in Kalamazoo. One is going to be the cold winters. I'm standing outside right now just because I'm a little crazy, but the winters are pretty cold so when you're thinking of temperatures somewhere in the 30s somewhere in the 20s and they last usually about four or five months out of the year you're gonna be cold a lot it's a kind of gray sky out right now so you have to make sure you're bundled up make sure you have a nice warm coat I got some thermals on so I don't mess around when it comes to that but the cold winters are something you're gonna want to look out for now the other part of that is that you can go skiing there's bittersweet ski resorts so people make light and make fun while they're having cold winters so you can hit up the ski slope Slopes. You can go ahead and go sledding. There's tons of hills around here to take the kids out if that's something you want to do. Go snowshoeing, doing things such as that, throwing snowballs at each other. It's an awesome experience knowing that you can enjoy the winter time out here, but they do get really cold. One of the things that may be a downside for you is if you aren't as open to a college town. Kalamazoo is a college town. It's a legit college town. There's Kalamazoo College. There's Kalamazoo Valley Community College. There's Western Michigan. So this town caters to a lot of college themed and college type of living type of style. So when it comes to living, a lot of the leases are, are room to room and things like that. So you can find some space and places to live. There's a lot of apartment buildings going up. They're really doing a lot to the area to make sure that the people who live here enjoy it quite a bit. Another negative out here is definitely going to be the roads, the potholes and things like that. Some of the areas aren't as nice with the roads. Now, in the wintertime, you have those salt trucks that are going out, throwing salt everywhere, corroding and eating the roads. You got to look out for it on your car, similar to Grand Rapids. You got to watch out for all the snow and sleet and all these things that are going to mess your car up, but also the roads. You get potholes, so a lot of things as far as that goes, you have to look out for. Another thing is just making sure you have good, you got to have insurance. Michigan is one of the places that has high insurance, one of the highest in the country. So knowing you have to have good insurance is a head up but it also can be a deterrent knowing you're gonna pay a lot because <laughs> you might hit one of those potholes a lot of people say hey we got two seasons in Michigan you got construction season and you got winter so between those two I mean there's a lot of construction that goes on in the area making your way around those potholes making your way around detours you're definitely going to get to know that there's a lot of back roads you'll get to know the quick ways and how to maneuver and get around the city in a timely fashion but that's just what I wanted to point out hey like like I said, for things to do in sites to see, this is Live Great TV. I'm your official host of Living Great in Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. My name is Vaughn Greyhouse. Hey, if you want to know more about the Grand Rapids area and what it's like to live, work, and have fun in West Michigan, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate you guys for subscribing. Tap that notification bell and that like button because I love making these videos. But even more than that, as a licensed real estate agent in the state of Michigan, I love helping you all make that transition to the West Michigan. Michigan area. So that name and that email coming across your screen right now is my direct contact info. Yes, I'm the one who answers those messages. So feel free to reach out anytime. And with that being said, we'll talk to you on the next one.